Welcome back to Chicago Cars Direct. Today we're going to spend time with a really, really pristine example of the Infiniti M35X all-wheel drive. This car is equipped with the Comfort Access uh, keyless entry system, so I have the fob uh, on me here. I will put it in my pocket, so as long as I have it on me, I can uh, access the car. There's a small rubber button here. Hit it once, it'll lock the car all the way around. I'll hit it once again, unlock the driver's door. Twice will unlock all the doors. All I have to do to get right in, jump in, put my foot on the brake, hit the button, and the car starts itself. Under the hood of the uh, M35X here, you're going to find the Infiniti VQ V6. Now this is a widely celebrated V6. They use it in virtually all their platforms. It's 3.5 liters in displacement. And this particular car makes 280 horsepower. That's a good amount of power and it does make a great amount of low-end torque, so you're not uh, challenged with that. It's made into a five-speed automatic that's routed to all four wheels. This is the X model, X indicating all-wheel drive. Uh, it's also loaded up. It's got the uh, advanced technology package and uh, it's a great color combination, ivory pearl over wheat. But uh, we'll show you why this one's really a great example. Let's walk around and check out the ivory pearl exterior. Uh, front end is in spectacular condition. It is a pearlescent uh, metallic paint. But if you look at the headlamp cluster, you have adaptive uh, front xenon headlamps. Uh, they will actually turn with the car at night. It's a pretty neat feature if you haven't seen that before. Now below here is a, uh, it's actually a radar system. It's a radar based uh, cruise control on this car. And you also have a camera mounted at the top of the windshield here. Uh, and what that does is those actually combine forces to uh, put together your lane departure warning system, uh, which can be a blessing and uh, an annoyance at the same time, happily defeatable. Uh, but it does uh, allow for an adaptive cruise system, as we'll show you. But well, take a look down here. This is the standard wheel on the uh, M35. They are uh, Goodyear. Uh, P245 45R18, 18 inch wheel from the factory, mud and snow rated, as you'd expect with an all wheel drive car. Let's just take a look down the side here. Uh, you can see the reflections. If you can see it in the camera, it's, it's factory new in condition. Uh, door handles are chrome. It's really nicely accented. I think this color combination, this is actually uh, a very good color combination for resale because these white glossing colors with lighter interiors are really in high demand. It's kind of one of the more fashionable color combinations right now. Uh, look at the rear, you can see they added the lip spoiler. That is the factory deck lid spoiler you get with the sport package car. Uh, the quad outlet exhaust, which is a pretty neat little feature. There is a backup camera that you can see on the deck lid there, right under the Infiniti logo. But coming around to the passenger side, I mean, it's uniform all the way down. And really a very well kept Infiniti M35 all wheel. Once again, as long as I have the smart key on me, there's a little rubber button under here. I just hit that, pops open, reveals a nice. Actually, very generously sized trunk. You do have a ski pass through in front. Got the full uh, Infinity owner's manuals here. Um, and as well as below that, you're going to find the full spare tire assembly. Never touched since the factory. Looking inside, um, I mean, aside from the tiniest bit of wear here, uh, the interior is in as new condition. And for a light interior car, that's really, really important because if they're not taken care of, they can't really be reconditioned back to, to health. But I uh, got dual power seats up here. Uh, I do have a driver's memory. Uh, power tilt and telescope steering wheel. Uh, automatic setting for the Xenons. Again, they are adaptive. Uh, you can actually see this is the override here. Uh, AFS is adaptive uh, lighting system. I don't know what the AF is, but you know, that's what it is. It's what it controls. This is your key slot here. Um, in the event that your battery is a little low, you can actually slide the key right in here. It's spring loaded. Just pop that in there, and uh, you can see it pops up on the dash here that it does recognize the key. Uh, and at that point, I just put my foot on the brake hit the ignition and the car will fire up. Uh, below that, you're going to find the override here for the lane departure warning system. If you start to stray uh, out of your guided path, it will actually beep at you to let you know that uh, you're not going your intended path. Uh, just to share with you one of my favorite features of this car, uh, you do have a DVD player built into the uh, console here and because of that you've got Bose 5.1 surround sound you've got speakers on the top of the backrest here uh, on the side of the headrest for the front occupants but uh, it's an unbelievable experience it's uh, very very similar to having a uh, home theater system in your car it's a hot one here in Talladega and this crowd of over 180,000 is enjoying one heck of a day
Very cool. But paired to that as well, you're gonna find the uh, Infinity Navigation System. Uh, you can see uh, the picture right there, it's on the bird's eye view. But this layout really is intuitive. I know it probably seems a little daunting at first because it looks like there's a lot of buttons, but you've got your row of uh, climate control stuff right here. Uh, dual zone, uh, it's kind of a set it and forget it system in my mind. I just hit auto and usually it'll dial it up to whatever you know I so desire. Uh, you do have Bluetooth uh, capability, and uh, I don't believe I have my phone paired with this car, but uh, had I done that, I could make a phone call uh, right out of here, which is pretty neat. But it is a Bose sound system, like I said, 5.1 surround. It's a fantastic stereo. Uh, it's really just a, a heck of a car. I mean, this driver's seat, this whole position, the light colored everything. You know, people tend to forget these steering wheels that are color key to these interiors. They don't always follow. Um, you do have right here your audio system. This is mainly, let's go to the audio setting there. You can see you got your radio there. Uh, you do have, uh, I believe that's XM satellite there. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, no signal, so it's not hooked up, but somebody did have it uh, dialed in there at one point. I think one of the cooler things on uh, you know, some of these cars with newer technology is this backup camera. You can actually see my angle that I'm steering at. Taking a look at the steering wheel here, uh, you can use these buttons here actually to toggle through a lot of the screen functions. Uh, you do have your audio source uh, control over here as well as volume and uh, there are spoken voice commands. This is a car that does have a voice command system built in. But one particular feature I wanted to highlight on here is this button right here. Uh, this is the adaptive cruise control system. So if I turn that on, uh, this button allows you to set the distance between yourself and the car in front of you, meaning if you set your cruise at 70 miles an hour and the car in front of you is going 55, depending on the distance you set, uh, the car will automatically sense it through the camera and the radar beam. Uh, the proximity of that car slow you down until you signal, switch lanes, and it'll shoot right past and get you right back up to 70 miles an hour. Uh, it takes some guts to really allow the car to do that at first, but it's a remarkable system once you actually have the, the faith in the electronics that'll actually do what you're intending for it to do. Glancing in from the passenger side, just to point out a couple more features, you've got uh, heated and ventilated seats for the front occupants. You can see the heat or ventilation. Uh, it'll actually blow colder uh, air-conditioned air through the perforations in the leather. And this button right here, uh, it says snow off and on. What this does is it'll actually electronically lock the uh, drivetrain differential. It is electronically variable, but it will lock it at a 50-50% split. Uh, so you're getting equal traction uh, all the way through. And then if you look forward here, you've got the shifter for the five speed with a manual shift mode. Just pop in the left, pull back a downshift, push forward to upshift. Pretty simple. The Infiniti M is the largest sedan that Infiniti offers, and it uh, essentially replaced the Q45 and the previous generation M45. But as you can imagine, I mean, very generous accommodations and a very softly uh, padded rear seat. You don't see that in a lot of cars uh, at this class. Usually they're a little bit more sporty, but this is a very luxurious feeling. Got a nice prominent uh, armrest here, but I'm very comfortable. Behind the wheel of the M35X, it's a very substantial feeling car. Uh, it's, it does not feel small in its responses, nor is it really created to feel that way. It's uh, it's very refined. It's it's comfortable. It's it's wide. It's expansive. It's got a really nice, neat, elegant layout. These wood uh, veneers here actually are really uh, probably some of my favorites. I like the kind of matted finish that they put on those. But uh, this is an immensely comfortable car to drive on long trips, and I have. Uh, taking four adults on a weekend road trip that was probably about a, I don't know, probably close to 700 mile trip uh, over a three day span. And, uh, it was a perfectly comfortable car. Uh, the DVD system is pretty sweet. The adaptive cruise, uh, which we'll get a chance to show you, uh, is pretty, pretty amazing as well. All right, we're gonna take this uh, puppy for a spin on the highway. Whoa, this balance is actually really good. The all-wheel drive is pretty amazing in this. I, I really think that the uh, the balance is unreal, and you don't. It doesn't feel like you're really hustling the car all that much. Although we really are moving here. It's got 18-inch wheels on it though. It carries out really nicely. In the Nice intake growl on that V6. Uh, it really has a nice amount of mid-range and low-end torque. Um, and just, you know, merge onto the highway. It's really simple.
So to give you an idea of the uh, radar-based cruise control, uh, we're on a, obviously a pretty crowded highway here. Um, obviously the camera's up here, you got the radar on the front. Um, we're going 62 miles an hour. I'm gonna actually take this a little higher. So it's gonna actually, it's keying up that we're in the path of this truck in front of us and the car is actually gonna use the brakes on its own to slow us down. That is spectacular. I am not touching anything, and this guy's gonna merge right in front of us. Watch this. It realized that he's going faster than us, and it actually didn't slow me down. So now, even though the cruise is set at 75, uh, I'm behind this FedEx truck, and we are going a static 58 miles an hour. So with the lane departure system act, uh, active, if I start to drift off into one lane, gonna beep at me like that and let me know that I didn't use my turn signal uh, to switch lanes but you can see now I still am not touching anything I'm accelerating because this Lincoln in front of us is going quick and we're back up to 70 mile an hour mark and I didn't touch anything what's crazy is we're gonna merge back in with traffic here and we're going uh, close to 80 miles an hour and the car just really slows itself down we're back down to 70 in virtually no time at all and it's seamless. Now I can gauge, I can change the distance. Uh, it's on the shortest distance right now, so it'll allow us to get a lot closer to this Mazda in front of us. <laughs> Did I call it a Mazda? It's the new Lexus. I keep saying that. That thing looks just like the Mazda CX-9. Good job, Lexus. I mentioned in the beginning that the G35, I'm sorry, the 35 engine is used in virtually everything, but what the G35 is, uh, that this car isn't, is a lot more sporty. This is a very luxurious car. Uh, the sport model is a little bit more amped up, but uh, you can definitely tell that this car is geared towards pampering. I mean, think of the technology that's in this car. How many other cars out there at this price point uh, actually showcase the kind of technology that the Infiniti M35X has? Just want to summarize, I got some great information here from Infinity. I've got the uh, original information as well as the full service history. And this car was very well serviced. Uh, they had it in every few thousand miles and uh, they did a uh, inspection virtually every time. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why, it really doesn't require one, but obviously this person was very serious about their car. But we got the technology package, it is Sirius satellite radio, uh, navigation system, Xenons, uh, rear deck lid spoiler, Bose sound system as we talked about, and then this, the uh, mini spare, but the Factory warranty on this is a four-year, 60,000-mile factory warranty. It runs through May 30th, uh, 2011. So this was even a late model, 07. Um, I also have the uh, vehicle history reports. Squeaky clean, of course. It's a one-owner car, off-lease, uh, with no previous accident history or flaws, both Carfax and, and auto check reporting. But uh, take a closer look at this car on our website. Uh, check us out at uh, chicagocarsdirect.com, where you'll see 60 pictures of this Infiniti M35. Or check out some of our other Infinity M's on our YouTube channel. We've done uh, uh, some footage on some previously, uh, 35s and 45s. Uh, you'll find us there at youtube.com slash Chicago Cars Direct. Thanks for spending some time with us, and we'll see you next time.